supposedly thing looks now. It's definitely bubbling. I need to leave it a bit longer. Some of the boards for the lift because we designed the lifts it's part of the publicity for a lot of the events within capped i have a lot of materials here and i have to bring them all down in a few minutes i also have my korean midterms tonight so that's a bit nerve-wracking but i think i've done most of what i could do already just compiled and punched holes in these flashcards they're actually for one of the lift designs for cap support i got dim sum this morning so i wanted to just take a moment to talk about the week and today and yesterday i would say week six it's week six and I would say this week was probably the hardest so far because I have midterms and I have all kinds of projects and assignments coming up but I would say I'm staying consistent doing what I have to do but with consistency especially at this level of intensity that I'm not used to it's really quite tiring and I hope that recess week will be a more peaceful, restful time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. There is an emergency situation in the building. Please evacuate by the nearest exit staircase and obey all instructions given by the fire wardens. Please do not use the lifts. to okay not hoping like i'm gonna try and get myself to finish studying for one of my computer science modules and i'm gonna try and do some science as well so that's that and i thought i'd also fill you in on what went down today where i was what i did <laughs> so this morning as you saw we had a very eventful morning we had a fire drill and we had to wake up at like 6 30 a.m because that was when the fire alarm rang and we all congregated in utown green and it was so crazy and after we woke up we all made our way to city hall for different reasons i went for lunch with my family so that was really nice and my friends they're actually doing a diving course they went to have lunch or brunch and they went to wherever they had to go for their diving and in about an hour i need to meet my cap support group and we're supposed to kind of keep each other accountable we're like a family group so it's quite cute and we're gonna meet for dinner at ikea the one nearby the one near school uh, yes i also really need to save money because there's something really really interesting that's gonna happen in a few weeks time and i will show you guys when that happens but Yes, I definitely need to save up for now. Okay. 
So, good morning and uh, today is going to be pretty interesting because I'm going to meet my friend Cheryl and we're going to go out to have lunch and do you remember that science experiment I had to do? And I just opened it just now and I smelled the wine smell and I was so impressed and shook but I guess that means I'm on the right track so that's quite exciting so that's that One thing that I'm really thankful for is that I'm quite fast in getting out of a rut. Like I don't allow myself to stay in a really sad state for too long. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, I don't know. But I mean, I have a lot of things I need to do. So I, I just don't have time to, to stay sad. <laughs> mainly on studying and I'm gonna try to get started on my coding project yeah another tough day ahead I suppose I'm just sitting here because I got locked out of my room but it's okay I'm just gonna do work at the balcony today even though my coding isn't strong compared to a lot of other people I would say I do feel my improvement so I think that's giving me a source of comfort it's quite encouraging <laughs> yeah I, I, <laughs> I don't really know what I wanted to say I just wanted to update you guys tonight or in the evening ish we're gonna go for a picnic so that's fun oh my goodness yeah, do you want to? Hi! Yes! Shout out to Lydia, I will put her, <laughs> her YouTube here, look at this, look at this girl, so beautiful, so gorgeous. <laughs> Back from the outing, I took a nice shower. I'm wearing the new cap shirt and I'm going to put on a face mask as I start to study for the night. I would say I'm quite thankful. I feel very rejuvenated after things were a bit tougher uh, the past few nights. I would really attribute my improvement in mood to just being able to get my work done and the picnic today i really really like picnics there's just something about looking up at the clear sky and the beautiful sunset and just great company it's just really nice so yeah 
I'm feeling a bit better, refreshed and rejuvenated and I feel like it's gonna be a productive night. It's another gloomy night, another late night as well because it's 12.21 now and I managed to get a part of my code to work. Like I keep telling people, I've questioned computer science and my choice in... Like I've questioned my choice to study computer science at least 20 times this week. But at the same time, I don't see myself doing anything other than computer science and software engineering in the future. So I think I just have to push through. I would say this was the hardest week of the entire semester so far despite there not being any classes. It's, it's really weird. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to the camera for a bit because it was a tough week. <laughs> change in scenery because I've been in the lounge for several hours. The time now is 5.15 and I was mostly struggling to figure out my codes. I got to a certain level. In fact, I, I thought I finished it but my codes had several design problems even though it was able to execute the tasks and give out the desired output. It's there's a lot more to this module than, than that so I had to start over my project and I think I'm on the right track I just need to sort out the last level yeah but computer science my goodness I've had about seven breakdowns the past week about three today alone so I'm exhausted also my friend gave me some welfare snacks which is really really nice Chris I don't know we never really talked about my YouTube channel but if if you actually watch my YouTube <laughs> then thank you so much I really really appreciate it it's 5 20 now and I think I'm just gonna call it a day a night whatever this is and go to sleep I guess I'll see you guys when I see you guys Got caught in the rain a little but it wasn't too bad but i thought i'd just show you a few things i got so i was doing some work at clementi mall again and i got a few things from watson's and the supermarket i got some razors and i got shampoo yeah i just wanted a shampoo that could help with my scalp finally i got some alcohol this is for another science experiment so i'll i might show you how I do that experiment, we're supposed to like extract our DNA which is interesting but it's really troublesome but also from the supermarket I got two packs of Vita Soy and I'm planning to write some notes and give each Vita Soy to a few of the friends that have really been so helpful and so supportive like just, just to show my appreciation mm -hmm. 